Hi everyone and hi all my followers on my YouTube channel. Here in this video, I am going to analyze the previous year problem of CSAR net chemical sciences. Before going to analyze this problem, I want your few minutes of attention. So just visit chemmasters.online website or download chemmasters mobile app from Google Play Stores to, uh, to play the more a sample videos if you are interested you can join the courses on csar gate and jam chemistry okay to play the best concept videos with best analysis and uh, all the previous year problems as in the form of videos and one can also get standard assignments chapter wise assignments okay just like offline institutes so here uh, i can assure that you can get the success by just playing on the mobile okay at your comfortable place and uh, comfortable time right okay now just come to the question here the mechanism and the product formed in the following reaction respectively are just look at the given reactant and we have given with water right so if you look at the given reactant it is having stereochemistry right three hydrogens on three rings are given as backside to the plane of the fusel rings and bromine which is above the plane right and if you look at we have uh, four carbons that means three rings which are connected with the four carbons and uh, three rings are connected centrally with one carbon so we may just like uh, write like this okay and it is connected with one bromine so by this we can simply say that it is tertiary halide or tertiary bromide is present in the given reactant and uh, in the options we have sn1 and sn2 are given right so from this we simply analyze that tertiary alkyl halides involves in sn1 reactions only okay right that's why in the first step of sn1 mechanism formation of carbocation takes place right that's why here the elimination of bromide from that particular tertiary uh, carbon then there is a formation of carbocation tertiary carbocation and from the general mechanism or general uh, analysis or the concept of uh, uh, sn1 we know that the incoming nucleophile can attack the tertiary carbocation in both the ways that means which uh, it can attack from the top side to the carbocation or from the bottom side onto the carbocation from that particular reactant plane okay right but if you look at the reactant we have the stereochemistry on it three hydrogens are given back say to the plane that's why the stereochemistry on reactant drives the reaction here okay right the nucleophile here water can attack the carbocation from top side only because to escape from the steric repulsions whenever the water attacks the carbocation from the bottom side where three hydrogens are present okay from those three hydrogen water nucleophile gets steric repulsions that's why it is unfavorable attack from the back back side to the plane onto the carbocation of the given reactant okay and uh, the favorable attack of water is from the top side onto the carbocation where the steric repulsions are very less okay and just remember that whenever we have stereochemistry on the reactant we need to follow that stereochemistry to give the product okay that means uh, uh, whenever we have uh, reactants with stereochemistry they produce stereo specific products that means uh, the stereochemistry on the reactant uh, drive the reaction i uh, to give the product okay just remember that so here fourth option is the correct one so where we have sn1 reaction followed by uh, followed in the particular reaction and the hydroxy group is placed on that particular carbocation in the two steps okay first one carbocation formation next one is attack of nucleophile from the sterically less hindered position okay right thank you